what is open contracting? What, what is this all about? So open contracting transforms public procurement so that it is open by design, it's fair, it's efficient. Open contracting is about working with governments, with businesses, with civil society to deliver better value for money, improve efficiency, enhance competition, and build trust. At its core, open contracting is about publishing and using open, accessible, timely data on government contracting so that we can engage all the different stakeholders to identify and fix problems. And it's important of all, it's important to mention that open contracting takes you throughout the entire life cycle and value chain of procurement, all the way from planning to tenders, awards, implementation, etc. Ultimately, open contracting helps you to deliver better goods, services, and public works to governments, businesses, citizens, and, and everyone. But why, why is this so important? So before, before I jump into some examples of OGP commitments, it, I think it's important to share some context about why this is so important. Now, every year, governments spend huge sums of money through public contracts, from everything from pencils and paper to building major infrastructure projects such as hospitals, airports, and schools. Now that's, that spending amounts to over $9.5 trillion every year. That's a massive 15% of global GDP. And one out of three dollars spent by government is spent on government contracting. So that's a pile of one dollar notes stretching from the earth to the moon and back. It's obviously a huge amount of money. But we also know that procurement is government's number one corruption risk. We know that only 60% of foreign bribery cases heard at the OECD involve bribes for public contracts. And 30% of companies trust that corruption prevented them from winning contracts in the EU. But it's also not always corruption. It's just as often incompetence, mismanagement, and efficiency that gets in the way of delivering benefits to citizens. In this photograph, for example, this is a real photograph. And it's not made up. It's from a public project in a Lithuanian school. So when you look at it, you can immediately see that there are some clear problems here. There are no stalls, there are no cubicles, there are no doors, there are no sinks. Um, and most important of all, it was meant to be a girl's changing room. So what this shows us is that often it's poor coordination, mismanagement that gets in the way of delivering on, delivering on projects, delivering on contracts. So what we need to do is to find ways to reduce mismanagement and waste and to improve efficiency and prevent this type of leakage. And this is where open contracting comes in. So open contracting, as I said before, is all about helping OGP members deliver very good services and works by enabling the full life cycle of open government reforms. So going from data publication to data use, to identification of solutions, implementation of reforms to impact. So how do we do this? Our starting point for doing this is through our global non propriety standards. So these are structured to reflect the complete contracting cycle through the Open Contracting Data Standard, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. And it's structured to reflect both the project and contracting cycle for the Open Contracting Infrastructure Data Standard. And these data standards enable users and partners around the world to publish shareable, reusable, machine readable data to join up that data with different data sets with your own information so you can create tools to analyze or share that data. And then this next slide, you'll see a visual of what the open contracting data standard looks like across the procurement chain. So you'll see that it takes you right across the full chain of government deal making, starting from um, planning stage to tenders, awards, implementation, etc. And in this slide, it'll give you some examples of what data you might find at each stage. And I won't go through them in detail. Uh, it's really just to give you an idea. And I expect that these uh, slides will be circulated after the webinar as well. And then next, I want to share with you the Open Contracting for Infrastructure Data Standard. Now, this data standard builds on the OCDS to enable a tailored approach for regular disclosure, structured, standardized data, and infrastructure projects and contracts. And infrastructure projects, as you know, are very complex. 
So the OC Prize Yes helps to connect projects and contracts so that you can have a more comprehensive, holistic view of how projects are performing as a whole and not at the individual contract level alone. So this helps to enable better monitoring of infrastructure projects. 